She said this fight is one where strategy is the most crucial element and referenced the age-old expression of a chess match in her approach to Luz Vasquez. A decade of Brazilian jiu-jitsu for the bazooka. I'd assume she's pretty crafty, crafty on the canvas shot. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, she's shown that with some of her submission victories. Uh, you know, she's done some kickboxing as well, so she's got uh, capable of, of uh, doing things in the stand-up department as well. So well-rounded. Again, you know, it just speaks to somebody's character as an athlete when they're willing to take on a tough assignment like Luz Vasquez. And if you're willing uh, to make that trip, you got to respect it. Bit of a kickboxing experience in July of 2021 for the Bazooka. Love the dedication to really improve in all aspects of mixed martial arts. You can't, like you mentioned during the broadcast, be just one discipline anymore. That's not how the game works. And at her age of 32, the fact that she's still working, still improving, still actively searching how to better herself speaks to her testament as a fighter. Tough assignment today. You, you, you assume she probably thinks that she's going to be facing a gritty, tough wrestler, and she is. But as we mentioned off the top, Luz Vasquez said, hey, a lot of people don't know my, uh, my first martial arts was actually Taekwondo. I've actually got quite a, a varied striking attack that I can implement as well, and I haven't gotten to show a whole lot of it yet, but maybe tonight's the night. Maybe tonight is the night. Will mention, last anecdote about the bazooka, her two submission victories have come both in the first round. One was an arm triangle back in April of 2019. And the most recent one in 2020 was a rear naked choke over Emily Centeno, who was 2-0 and oh at the time. Hey. Bazooka's used to defeating hey. undefeated folks. Vázquez, esquina roja. The undefeated and highly regarded Luz Vasquez returns following her brutal second round stoppage in November of Nubia Nascimento, making the mixed martial arts debut in May of 2010. The former Olympic hopeful relentlessly pursued the highest thrones in wrestling and over the last few years has redirected that passion to mixed martial arts. She was a staple of the Argentinian national wrestling team and secured a bronze medal at the Pan American Championships in 2022. Too. But John, like we've been talking about all night, she says that she wants to strike here in this featured fight. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, you know, listen, I, I, don't, I don't think she was being dishonest. I think she really does. But again, you talk about how long she was committed to the wrestling game at a very, very high level. I mean, we have that advantage over your opponent. It's hard not to go back to that. I mean, I always say, and I truly believe it, wrestling to me is the absolute best base for you to build from as a mixed martial artist because of the opportunity to dictate where the fight takes place. So hey, no, I do believe she was being honest. Hey, I do believe she wants to show some new wrinkles Ooh. to her game. But I do believe if it's okay. not going perfectly, she'll turn to that bread and butter right away. Esquina Roja Luz Vasquez. 64 kilogramos de Argentina, 34 años. Verisca Canelón, 64 kilogramos de Venezuela, 32 años. Para este combate tendremos como referir al señor Tommy Santana. Tommy Santana, once again, third man inside the octagon. This featured fight at Empire MMA 4, Luz Vasquez and Beryuska, the Bazooka Canelon. And one thing to mention, Beryuska's been all calm, all fun, all week, especially on that walkout. Yeah. You know, she could, you could tell that she's clearly confident despite the matchup she's faced. Good touch of gloves to get things started. Canelon, a lot of crafty footwork. Luz Vasquez enters the pocket with a crisp one, too. Yeah, and again, I mean, that's the great thing about Luz Vasquez is she's so confident in her wrestling that it's not a problem for her Ooh. to just kind of walk forward and not be hesitant about what's coming back the other way. Although, big shock being traded early. She said she wanted to strike. Berhuska Canelon's got a tough assignment on the hands already. 4.30 left in this first round. The bazooka needs to uncork some high caliber offense. See what you did there, Ben. <laughs> they got crafty with the job. Vasquez living up to a promise thus far. Nice right hand landed. 
there, left Yuska as well. Stumbling. Oh, Here she's comes hurt. Vasquez. Good clinch right there from Canalon, but is it enough to deter Vasquez? Yeah, she's trying to slow things down right now. Is Canalon and wisely so? She got touched up on the feet there. And Vasquez thus far living wow. up to her promise. Just keeping the offense at. There's a slam oh, by Luz Vasquez. Yeah, and that's what I said. When you have that level of wrestling at your disposal, you take it. And dropping Berdyuska directly on her head, that's an offensive maneuver in its own right. It really was. Trying to slide out the side control there. She does have to be aware. I was going to say, did have control. Not a lot of pressure on there, but did have control. Loose now best. maybe trying to set up this arm triangle, perhaps. A lot of time on the clock with which to work. 3.30 in the round can of lawn. Trying to, you know, mitigate the positional advancements here. Doing an okay job. This is just how calm Vasquez is. This is her world. Yeah, it really is. Now, again, was trying to set that arm triangle. Maybe the, Miami try to isolate that left arm with a key lock here. Or gift wrap it and just pummel away at the head. She's got a lot of options available to her here. Ten years of Brazilian jiu-jitsu for the bazooka, Canelon. Got to think she's pretty well adjusted to these positions and is having her awareness, but Vasquez working on that left arm, John. Yeah, Canelon kind of locked down on the half guard right now, but Vasquez in a very dominant position is landing oh. some strikes, big punches coming from the top. Again, I see kind of gift wrapping that left arm. A little knee on belly action, couple strikes, Tommy Santana. Oh, careful, got the knee on her face, but not a knee strike. Got to be careful there. Yeah, I think that was wise to just pull it away. You can see she's got that right arm trapped in her leg, so that's peeling away half the defense. Kind of brings it back as we're a little past the halfway mark here. Round number one. Best shot from the bottom from the bazooka. Yeah, I mean, it's good to throw punches from your back, but trust me, the ones I'm from the top hurt a lot more. <laughs> that's just gravity at work. Busquez locking up that right arm of Canelon. Yep. I mean, these are deep waters for Berdyuska, and Luz Vasquez is a megalodon inside the octagon. Got control of this right arm right now. You see on the wrist, so looking to potentially, a lot of options available to her right now, Whew. including just elbow in the dome right there. Again, gift wrapped once again, taking away the defense. Oh, nasty little that elbow was bad. there. Now locking in the arm triangle. Canelon trying to defend, answering the phone, but that squeeze of the undefeated Argentinian. Yeah. She needs to address this, especially if Vasquez oh. can clear the guard. And you can see that's what she's trying to do right now. She's kind of on the wrong side right now. And that's saving Canelon. You know, one of the big things about Luz Vasquez is in her last fight, she spent a part of it training in Dagestan, of course, where the Nurmago Medovs are from. Incredible squeeze that she must have accumulated during her time there. I mean, this is bad news. Yeah, and for now Canelon. you can see she's trying she's cleared the guard and trying to hop over the other side. But oh! Like, Great defensive awareness by Canelon, but Vasquez just falling right back into the guard. A nice work from Canelon. We, we said she's tough. She understands the assignment that she's in for tonight. Now look at Vasquez going to clear past the guard. Slick work to advance past the legs. North-south position here. 50 seconds left in round number one. Bear Huscut Canelon simply surviving against the onslaught of Luz Vasquez. Now trying to pin down that left arm, does that successfully, just pounding away with punches here. Maybe she can isolate this right arm. Last 30 seconds, crucifix for Vasquez! Can she get it done with strikes here, maybe? You see Canelon doing, oh. She's also got the submission available to her. Let's see what she goes wow. with the hammer fist there. 15 seconds. Can Canelon survive? Now she's going to go for the submission with a little time left. Oh, Let it go instead. Big elbow in there. Oh, Definitely. four elbows landing clean. Tommy Santana really monitoring the action. Four seconds. Wow. The definition of domination from Luz Vasquez, Berdyuska, Canelon, all smiles in the walk-up, really dejected walking back to the corner. Yeah, that's a 10-8 for me all day. I mean, that's absolute domination. We take a look here. You know, Berdyuska, she was doing a good job on the feet of swinging back, and again, Vasquez did what she said what she was gonna do, she struck, but eventually, as we thought she might, she did turn to that wrestling strength and got the fight to the ground with a beautiful slam, and then just dominated, absolutely mauled from wow. here. Active ground and pound, those elbows, not for the faint of heart, John Morgan. 
And that's just mean. She just put her knee on her chin. I mean, I like that. That's just mean, <laughs> right? Was careful not to make it a strike, so it's not a knee to a, the head of a grounded opponent, but just the discomfort that oh, you're applying. Let me just put a little pressure on your chin here with my knee. You know, we talk about Luis Vasquez outside the octagon, one of the nicest people that you're going to meet. When that switch gets flipped, it's kill mode. It absolutely is. That's that wrestler's mentality. And uh, again, I think an absolute dominant round one. Hey, you know what? A, a, a lot of props to Berniuska for surviving all that trouble. I mean, she could have easily just kind of turtled up and let a few more strikes Attacked land, and I'm triangle. out. You know? Yeah. And she didn't. So let's see if she can capitalize. She starts again on the feet. A lot, a lot of adversity against Berniuska, Kenalon, Luz Vasquez. Cool, calm, and collected. As we get into round number two of our feature fight at Empire MMA 4, Berniuska takes the center. Still got that good footwork. Trying to throw some punches. Oh! Yeah, she's coming out swinging. I think she runs. If I'm going to get this done, I'm going to get it done on the feet. So I got to be busy while we're here. Start fast, start strong for the bazooka. Luz Vasquez. Each kind of trading control of the center right on that Burger King Whopper. Well, if you're Vasquez, I mean, I think she knows. I, I can lift you up and slam you to the mat at pretty much any <laughs> point I want to. So let's strike and see what happens. It really does allow you to have freedom in your striking because you're not worried. Okay, you're going to shoot on me? Fine. Oh! oh the left, left hook! Head. There's that head kick from Vasquez. She went for it, but the bazooka trying to claim some momentum. But boy, is she stunned, John. The showboat there. She wagged the right hand and landed the left. Vasquez putting on a little clinic. The undefeated Argentinian, no stranger to oh. putting on some sports entertainment. Another big straight right landed. 356 left in round number two. Bear Yuska pushing forward, but the wall of momentum that is Luz Vasquez. Oh. A sneaky uppercut right there. Yeah. Man, Alone's about as tough as they come, man. To take that shot and to come back and be swinging. Love the duck into that right hand, sort of fainting that level change and transferring it into a strike. Vasquez knows how to set up this offense. Yeah, she really is showing a new wrinkle. Just patience in her striking game tactical as well not just going immediately to the takedown but having some real success with her hands thought maybe a high kick might do the trick tonight she threw one out there didn't quite <laughs> score a little bit off balance when she yeah. threw it who knows see Ken alone kind of shaking her head a little bit there Ooh. she's moving forward Luz Vasquez trying to really counter any of that offense from Beryuska Ken Alon. Beryuska got a good front kick right there. She's throwing weapons out there. It's just about the consistency of them. Yeah, she landed to the body, but again, Vasquez is really showing some power in her hands tonight. And we'll see if once again she maybe tries to turn the rest. I think she really wants that knockout finish. I think she does. Yeah. She's been telling me for months that she wants that KO. Timeout. Time out. Time out here. Tommy Santana. Oh, bit of a uh, eye, outstretched fingers. Outstretched wants to fingers, fist. exactly. Just a warning there. Beruska Canalon took a really labored look at her corner. Good touch of gloves. Oh, big right hand connects, but Beruska lands that inside kick. Vasquez, as talented as they come, says that she wants a UFC championship by the time it's all said and done at 34 years old. You know, it's, it's time to really put that career into motion, John. And she knows it. She understands. She's not unrealistic Ooh. about the time that she has left in the sport. So it's important to her that she gets good results every time out. She did land a nice combination there, but there's Ken alone answering back Ooh. as well. Luis Vasquez briefly stumbled. Ooh. The bazooka really tried to make that moment count. Yeah, got a little bit careless there in her attack there and almost paid the price for it with a big uppercut from Ken alone. Vasquez just out of the way. Continues to reach forward with those outstretched fingertips. You need to be real careful about that because the last thing you want to do is give up a point. 90 seconds remain. Big right hand stuns Canalon. Luz Vasquez, just a meteoric cross. Every time it connects, you can see Berdyuska responds. Good leg kick right there from the cannon. Oh, right hand from Luz. There's a knee up the middle. Vasquez retreats. Yeah, and, and Vasquez looks like she's slowing a, a bit to me. She's losing a little bit of zip on her, on her strikes. Um, and I would say maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to return to the wrestling. She's got the dominant edge there. She did so well in the over. Not that she's doing bad here. But there's just a slight regression from round number one. Absolutely. And the way Ken Long continues to engage and attack, I just worry she might be opening herself up for something. So 
Vasquez with the clinch right here, a little knee to the body. Deep Backs breaths. Away. Deep breaths by both for sure at the exit of that, that clinching sequence. I mean, credit to Beryuska. She's taken some serious shots, been stunned on a couple occasions, yep. but recovered and come back and still very much in this. Now commanding the center with 30 seconds to go in round two. Listen, I mean, we touched on it several times tonight. We are at 8,600 feet altitude. That is a real thing. Uh, it, it does impact you, and I think it is impacting Vasquez a little bit here. And again, oh. she's still in control of this fight. She lands a right over the top. She's still having success. She'll step in elbow from Canelo. Oh. That's what I'm talking about is you're just giving her an opportunity here to attack, whereas if you can turn to that Olympic caliber wrestling and take the fight to the floor, Canelon doesn't have that opportunity. Path of least resistance once again right there. Big suplex by Vasquez! Beautiful takedown with authority. Round's going to end there. Not that there was any dispute, but another Vasquez round in the books, John. Yeah, I mean, not a 10-8 this time around, more of the 10-9 variety, but... Uh, again, I just think the end of that sequence punctuated exactly what I was saying. In, in round three, honestly, I, I appreciate what Vasquez is trying to do with the striking. I would just turn immediately to that wrestling. Shut it down. Don't give Canelon any opportunity whatsoever. Canelon has landed some of those sneaky uppercuts, those light kicks on a couple occasions. Again, yeah, why give her the opportunity? Five minutes left in the can. What does Berdyuska, the bazooka can alone, need to do? It's got to be a Hail Mary play, I'd imagine. I think so. I think she's got to empty the tank. She clearly knows she's behind right now. I mean, you've seen some of the kind of frustrated looks on her face at times, and the reason for those is that she knows she's behind on the scorecard. Uh, I think she's got to muster up something special late, as you said, kind of a Hail Mary. Just let it all go. I mean, if this thing goes another five minutes, you're not going to win the fight. So if you get knocked out or something crazy happens, it's the same result. Just exactly. go for it. Just un un unload everything. Because, again, Luz Vasquez is dominating, but I think she is slowing just a little bit. She left herself open on a couple opportunities. Areas of opportunity for the Bazooka, Beryuska Canelon. Final five minutes here. The doctor taking a look right now at Beryuska Canelon. Seems like everything is A-OK. -okay. Yep. Tommy Santana gets us prepped for round number three. Once again, tonight's fights are brought to you by Burger King and broadcasted by MixedMartialArts.com's The Underground, which looks great on those. <laughs> Phenomenal, right? <laughs> Perfect for them. Vasquez and Canelon have reached round number three. This is now the longest fight of Luz Vasquez's career. Uncharted waters for the undefeated Argentinian. Yeah, and again, yet one more reason I would advise her to turn to the wrestling Ooh. as quickly as possible. Because you don't want to get caught by something crazy. You know this journey that, that you're trying to make. You know, you're trying to make a late run to the UFC. The last thing you afford is just some weird stumble in a fight that you're oh. dominating. Talking about domination, another right hand connects on Berzuska. But Canelon wears it well, steps back into the center. Oh, head movement from the cannon. Vasquez ended with the left hand but again these are striking exchanges it's not completely one-sided when you're in the pocket right there gotta be aware of that love how Canelon just continues to take the center undeterred not demotivated by any stretch of the imagination she's still pushing a little bit games and chip on her own right with the right hand wag yeah, so I saw you do the right hand wag how about <laughs> I do that now <laughs> oh, oh there's oh. a her. that hurt her and immediately to the wrestling Luz Vasquez eats the biggest shot of her career. Now instantly looking to seek a submission. 348 in round number three. Can Beryuska Canelon hang on? And that was the exact shot that I was worried about. So I'm glad that she immediately turned to the wrestling. I understand she was having some success on the feet. But your opponent has not shown an ability to win the fight from her back. She has shown an ability to hurt you on the feet. Uh, and she did it there. So fortunately for Vasquez, she took the shot and turned to the takedown. And... Uh, We'll see if Canelon has anything this time around. A submission threat here would be a little diminished with how Beryuska's got her left arm jug, jack stuck in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, she doesn't have a squeeze right now. She's just controlling the head. You see what Canelon is trying to do is she wants to spin her. She's got half guard, but what she really needs to do now, she's just looking up the referee and saying, hey, can we just get a restart? And I can't necessarily argue against her, but you can't rely on the referee to get you there. What she needs to be doing is breaking that half guard and turning to her knees and working to her feet. Tommy Santana. Letting loose Vasquez of all the time in the world to potentially recover from that thunderous uppercut from the bazooka. Again, yeah. we talked about high caliber shots. That was the biggest one. Yeah, and he did lean in there and say, I need to see action. And, and Vasquez let go of the head. So now she's got the forearm across the throat. 
and now trying to set up this arm triangle once again, see if she can just force the arm into position. That's kind of a wrestler's favorite, you know what I mean? Because they can go to that position relatively easy, but Cantalone feels it. But now Cantalone really, again, needs to let go of that half guard, turn to her knees. Find some way back to the feet, potentially. Yeah. Two minutes with which to work. Luz Vasquez. Oh! Setting up a crafty choke right there. Yeah, nice tried attempt, to not there. And there she is. Now, careful. She's oh. trying to grab the guillotine. Not there. All right. A little more than two minutes remaining. Let's see what Canelon brings. Final moments of round number three. Beriuska putting it on strong to the undefeated Argentinian. Yeah, I mean... That shot she landed earlier was almost a game changer. She's got to have some confidence in that. As frustrating as the entire oh. fight has been, although Vasquez now with the straight right hand. That power carries all the way through the 15 minutes. I mean, look at the back, the athleticism that she's got from wrestling. But now it's just those single shots. It's, oh! Backs up Beruska for a moment. Yeah, right hand landed well there. Once again, I mean, Canelon taking the center, putting the pressure on, putting the pace at elevation. In, in, in yeah, moving forward the whole time, attacking, has been put through the ringer but never gave up, trying to make something out of this. A little bit more than a minute remaining here for Canelon to come up with the miracle finish. But I'm telling you, that shot she landed earlier, well, she catches a right hand there. Vasquez has had success, but Canelon is really showing her chin. 100%. Final 60 seconds. Clash inside the pocket. Neither fighter gets a noticeable advantage. Yeah, kind of glanced off the shoulder there. Under a minute remaining. You know, again, we talk about how the path of least resistance would be the wrestling. In fact, Vasquez probably could have found a finish in round one or two if she really leveraged those weapons. Um, but 15 minutes of striking in the back pocket, gaining some knowledge on, on that side of the equation. It's good. It's good for the experience level. Um, and I know that she wants to get those finishes. I know she doesn't want to be uh, cast as only a wrestler. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She wants to show, hey, I'm a well-rounded mixed martial artist. And of course, again, she's in that pursuit of the big show kind of late in her career as an athlete. And so she realizes, hey, the more finishes I can get, the more big highlights I can deliver, the faster I'm going to get there. Uh, but listen, vicious ground and pound. Oh! Oh! That's no. it! With 10 seconds to go, lights out for Luz Vasquez! In Bogota, she finds that KO. Wow. Wanted the striking finish, got the striking finish. She took Salamis in. And how about the double Stockton salute there? Flipping the birds. She's got a little attitude in there. Still undefeated, highly touted Luz Vasquez, former Olympic hopeful, maintains the 100% finishing rate today. All respect. The, to the Bazooka Beruska Canelon. Wore the damage, was in the fight, came back in so many moments. Big uppercut could have changed the momentum, but Vasquez reigns supreme. Yeah, she risked it there. And again, almost paid the price, but continued to stick with her game plan and, and pushed it to the final end and a big right hand. Got it done. Highlight real stuff there. And you see Beruska there saying, what? oh man, she got me, huh? Good stoppage. She was taking some damage. Luz Vasquez, incredibly excited. Got the striking finish on the feet. Wanted to show, hey, look, I'm not just a wrestler. I'm a striker as well. And uh, certainly got it done late. You see Barry Uska talking to doctors. Said, yeah, I, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm okay. Gamer. I mean, she took some damage and nearly threatened late. But Luz Vasquez dancing in there after the big striking finish. Frustrated there, very useful. But hey, listen, she made a nice account of herself tonight. No shame in her performance this evening. As durable as they come, really could have bowed out a lot earlier when she was in some precarious positions. Didn't. Came in and put on a show, and that's why she's getting some respect right now from Hector Castro, deservedly so. And uh, respect between the two as well. And uh, Luz Vasquez said, look, I got striking. I'll show you tonight. She did it. Even as I continue to recommend <laughs> that she go for the takedown, said, I don't need to. They can land these hammers as well. Respect between those two warriors. Fun fight. Great work from both. Señoras y señores, y la ganadora de este combate es Luz. Vasquez! 
de Argentina. Knockout por un puño. Wow, Luis Vasquez and still undefeated. Walk me through how you're feeling right now. I'm feeling awesome. Boy, that's hard, motherfucker. Boy, that's duro, la hijo de puta. Longest fight of your career, Beriuska Canelon, top customer. How did you feel about that performance? Well, I f she was tough, but I feel amazing. And these fights let me get better, you know? So I'm coming back, and I want everything in this sport. I love it. You told me for months you wanted that highlight reel KO. How happy are you that you got it? I'm happy, and I'm more happy than I did with my hands. I wish I could do it with my legs, but it was tough for real, and, and the floor wasn't very good for that. So I prefer to say much in my son. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Luz Vasquez! Gracias. A, to, a toda mi, mi gente de Colombia, yo lo siento parte, yo soy Argentina, pero yo estuve dos años viviendo en Cali, en Colombia, conozco y me siento mi segunda patria, así que. Y es mi, en mi cuatro peleas está en la tercera acá, así que muy feliz y gracias por tenerme.